I am currently being harassed and getting ready to be evicted during the pandemic. Now, where are you going to go? Who's going to go? I mean, come on. Think about it. Yo en, siempre estoy pensando en eh, cuándo se van a aparecer, qué es lo que sigue, otra vez voy a encontrar la puerta cerrada. It just shows the utter lack of care for the people of this country that aren't the ultra wealthy. Like, this has devastated me, and I'm just one person. And we don't get it. The CDC has recently issued a, what they call an eviction moratorium nationwide till the end of December of this year. In order to be eligible for this eviction moratorium, tenants need to submit to their landlords a, a declaration as specified by the CDC, including a number of statements. Once the moratorium is lifted, we're looking at potentially hundreds of thousands of tenants who will be sued in eviction proceedings and facing eviction, including the 14,000 tenants who had a warrant of eviction before the pandemic even began. I've been fighting my landlord with this eviction situation since 2019. They're trying to say that I don't own the place I'm staying. They have me down as a squatter. They're trying to harass me and force me out. I've been trying to get my landlord to do repairs in the apartment. This is the kitchen area. If you go inside and look at the sink, that's pretty bad. I, I cannot wash properly without that basin. That's it, that's my kitchen sink in there. That's my bathroom sink to wash up. I can't use my shower for fear that that would overflow. Moratoriums are supposed to protect you, they don't. People who are African American, Hispanic, are being forced out. I listened to all this uh, Black Lives Matter situation, and I say to myself, my life matters as a senior because of this now federal moratorium, we are definitely seeing an uptick in incidents of landlord harassment. Landlords are in a number of cases that, that I'm aware of, moving themselves or, or sometimes people off the street into apartments with their existing tenants so as to harass them and intimidate them and encourage them to voluntarily leave the apartment. Bueno, ella me utilizó uh, para ella entrar y, y poder sacarme junto con los dueños. Yo duermo en la cocina, tuve que botar mi cama porque pues esta muchacha se quedó en el cuarto. Yo hay mucho abuso, uh, no solo yo, hay muchas personas que me han contado, los están desalojando, personas que, que no saben ni siquiera dónde ir, cómo, cómo hacer una pregunta, cómo pedir ayuda. Ellos este, pasan por lo mismo, solo que ellos no, a veces ellos puede más su miedo y se terminan yendo del lugar. These are the sorts of tactics that a lot of landlords are resorting to when they effectively can't move forward with legal eviction proceedings. I had brain surgery on June 16th, and when I got home, everything was just destroyed. constitutes of an illegal lockout is changing the locks on a building, throwing tenants' possessions out, or using verbal or physical uh, intimidation or harassment techniques to uh, make people feel unsafe and, and basically imply that they have no other option but to leave, and all three happened to us. Yeah. Yeah. Our landlord breaks into our house for the first time. I sent my landlords an email detailing everything that I was going through health-wise and was like, 
your behavior has made this house unsafe and you could quite literally kill me with your actions. When you have police come and the police say like, yeah, they can do that, then they're, now, the, now these corrupt landlords are in power, right? Uh, because they have the backing of the system. So what are we left with? Nothing except community and the hopes of solidarity. No landlords, no after that break and I immediately was like, this is not a safe space. I have actually never ever even paid my rent late ever once in my life. I'm just another person like many people throughout this country that has been negatively affected by this pandemic, who's lost work, where the systems have failed me. Like if the eviction moratorium obviously didn't help us. But here we are, so. The, these, these piecemeal efforts by New York State and by the federal government to kick the can down the road and delay evictions here and delay evictions there, they aren't solving the fundamental problem, which is these billions and billions of dollars of unpaid rent that has accumulated. The tenants of New York State are continuing to advocate for rent cancellation with respect to the rents that have come due since the pandemic began. Here in this community are demanding a rent cancellation. We are demanding a moratorium that is real for our communities. Not just a pause on rent, but we need a moratorium on rent. We need a cancel rent. If tenants were not able to pay this debt a couple of months ago, how do we expect them to continue to pay accrued debt moving forward? We're permanently saddling people with debt that they'll never be able to pay. To the question, what about the landlords? There's no question that this COVID pandemic has been hard on everybody. And just like tenants everywhere are suffering, so too are some landlords, especially small landlords, suffering as well. While canceling rent for tenants, the, this movement also proposes that small landlords in financial need also be given financial support from the state so that they can stay afloat. It's like if you really want to give people the opportunity to make their way out of this pandemic, don't risk their life and their safety by then pushing them out on the street. Unless New York State does something to address the rent itself, to cancel it, uh, we're gonna see a massive tidal wave of evictions whenever these moratoriums stop being issued, whether that's in October or December or you know, whenever it really ends.